Hey folks, welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. We are left off. I have read the Elder Scrolls and now I have found the location of Ariel's bow. So we have to go to Darkwood Cave. Do I say this right? Darkwood Cave? Uh, Dark Fall Cave. Why did it say Dark Wood? Hmm. I'm confused with Babel, I guess. <laughs> Anyways. Let's go. Ooh. Which of those two are good? And you are... Ooh, I'm on, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Jesus Christ. Your skin is as pale as the snow. Are you scared of sunlight or something? You are vigilant. Of the thunder. Yes, our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We are quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. Okay, who's Thunder? He is the God of Mercy. The oh, the God of Mercy, wow! We bring his compassion where none can be found by cleansing all those who would offend his children. Okay, fantastic. You hunt Daedra. Any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches. But the Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. Fantastic. None escape the vigil. All come into the light. Are you just going to stand there with your arms crossed? Well, good luck for that. I will continue to travel to Dark Fall Cave and stop Harkon. From completing the tyranny of the sun. I found the cave. What's going on there? Oh, wolves. Go. There we go, that's gone. You're welcome. Uh, I don't need that, I guess. Let's continue. Uh, it's pretty dark here. Wait a minute, do I have light? No, I meant do I have light? Not show me the path, light. There we go, that's better. Do we have a light? A torch, perhaps? I need to trade something with you. Ah, oh, you have nothing. Oh, Jesus. Alright, uh, so Rana, here we go. Let's pick that up. Let's give you a nice present. Alright, let's see what you have. I have enough. Uh, where's the torch? There we go. Yes. There you go. Yeah, that's uh, fine, right? That's mighty fine. Yep, done and done and done indeed, Solana. Ah, oh, my light is off. 
Now we go. Do I need to go? I don't think I'm supposed to go down there. Hmm? Am I? Pegax. Um. You know what? Check safe. And there we go. Oh, I was supposed to go down there. Nice. Oh, I'm fallen. Okay, that's a lot of spiders. gold no gold then let's continue who's there knew I <laughs> please don't poison me crazy yeah I'll go that's gone Me can a sword, here we go. And does more damage. Here we go. Uh, can I deal some more damage with my flaming hands destruction? Um fire spells do fifty percent more damage. I um need to train it a little bit more. Okay, let's uh, I'm going to train my fire. Like a true firebender. Zuko must be very proud. <laughs> I don't care. I just want my honor. Return Cave Fall Cave Bait Dark Fall Cave Note Gimme Gimme Let me have a look mm. Going to read again hey Going to read again uh, Sister I know that you will come find me but it will be too late If you find this letter get out of this Forsaken cave as soon as possible. We were fools to think we could live so close to such creatures and live peacefully. I should have I should have headed back to camp with you after we placed the torches down here. I thought these tolls would be different that they would Somehow understand that we did not want to hurt them. <laughs> I am now going the. I am now gone. Uh, uh, before one of the scrolls decides to finish me off, I hope it is a quick death. Farewell, my dear sister. Wow, that is tragic. Anyways. I'm not scared for trolls. I am Duvakin. The very awesome person who can shout very hard for no reason.
Can you hear the siren? Sirens? These people. Why would I have mind? Anyways, who a trap? Ow, 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 that hurts. That hurts. Alright, let's see, where are the trolls? We are going to walk in circles. Something's not right here. Be careful. I think we may be in for some trouble. Oh, they are the tall. Don't worry. It will only you want to kill you. Die! Here we go. My, I will see you never. I will see you never. Moonstone. Yeah, fine. That's fine. For uh, troll fat and troll fat. Is he evil? And uh, let's get my bow. Basic quick save. And booyah! Huh? Why can't I hit him? Wait, what do we need to do? Locate Ariel's bow. But why is there a floating arrow above his head? You're not a bow. Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. Oh, I have to speak to you. Can you turn off, please? Can you turn off, please? Can you turn off, please? Ah, that's better. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. Uh, this cave is a temple of Oriel. Oriel. Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. Snow Elf? You're Falmer. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. <laughs> Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. I imagine you know why we are here. Of course. You're here for Oriel's bow. Yes. You be here? I can help you get it. But first, I must have your assistance. And uh, do I have a choice? Uh, what type of assistance do you need? I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. Kill your brother? Why? The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. Uh, what exactly did the Betrayed do? They swept into the Chantry without warning and began killing everyone without pause. Didn't you fight back? The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins. But we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. You... Uh, you don't even know if he's alive? He's alive. I've seen him. 
but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Have you tried getting into the inner sanctum? Leaving the way shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel, and an assault on the betrayed guarding the inner sanctum would only end with my death. Weishine? Yes, let me show you. Well, go on. Show me. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Nice and doorway. This structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the way shrine center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the arch curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. You need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and bring out his body. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the initiate's footsteps and traveling from way shrine to way shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. How many more way shrines are there? There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. These caves must be massive. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. So I need to fill this at each way shrine. Way shrine. Once you've located a way shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin as if you've been enlightened. I'll be off then. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Hmm, do I, do I have questions? I expected as much. Um, yeah, what is this? They're ghosts of the Snow Elf Priests that tended the Way Shrines before being slaughtered by the Betrayed. Through the grace of Oriel, they were restored to their spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. Good, they should be able to help us. I'm afraid in their current form, they still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. They won't respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the inner sanctum. Uh, what is the Chantry of Ariel? This is, or was, the epicenter of our religion. Most of the Snow Elf people worshipped Ariel. The Chantry was constructed near the beginning of the First Era to provide a retreat for those that wished to become enlightened. Most snow elves. Our empire had temples to some of the other deities. Trinimac. Hey, Serapain, did you say empire? Trinimac, Trinister, rounded out the rest. But those temples paled in comparison to the glory of the Chantry and its way shrines. Who else is thinking about Star Wars? Uh, the way shrines are part of the Chantry. Chantry, then. Oh yes, they were an important part of the process here. 
They represented the steps the Initiates took on the path to total enlightenment. Sadly, the magic used to construct these wonders were lost long before I arrived here. Ah, uh, who were you people? We were once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. It appears then Nords won. In a manner of speaking. Mm -hmm. We had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground dwelling dwarves, and when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. <laughs> Everyone couldn't have possibly agreed to that. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves bargain. What turned your people into betrayed? Wait, what turned your people into the betrayed? I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin. Certainly not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. Alright then, uh, why weren't the snow elves here? Uh, whatever. The Chantry is quite isolated, so it took some time for word of the Dwarves offer to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. Is that why you had retained your sight? Correct. We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the dwarves and the Nords. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. You mean they betrayed? Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assumed that the Archcurate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the inner sanctum. There are others here like you? Bertha and myself are the only two Snow Elves that remain. Okay, what a shame. May Oriel Always do they are. Anyways folks, I am going to pause it from here. And I'll be back in the next video. Thanks for watching.